Okay, so welcome to Math Storia, and let's have this problem. So find the two numbers whose sum is 12 if the product of one by the square of the other is to be maximum. So to solve for this problem, so first we let x be the first number. Then since the sum is 12, so therefore 12 minus x that's the second number. Then since in the problem, the product of 1 by the square is to be maximum, so therefore P for the product, that's X times 12 minus X, since 1 by the square, so 12 minus X, then to the power 2. Then we need to simplify this one. So P is equal to X times for the square of E binomial. So we're going to use this method, the SMS. So S, that's the square of the first term. So the square of 12, that's 144. Then M, that's multiplication. So 2 times negative X, that's negative 2X times 12, this one is negative 24x. Then for the last s, that's the square of the second term. So the square of negative x, that's positive x squared. Then we need to distribute this x to every terms. So p equals, so distribute, that's 144x to this term. That's negative 24x squared and to this term plus x to the power 3. Then we need to find the derivative of the product. So the derivative of the product, that's p prime, equals the derivative of 144x. This one is 144. Then minus the derivative of 24x squared. So multiply this 2 times 24, this one is 48x, so minus 1 for the exponent, then plus the derivative of x to the power 3, this one is 3x minus 1 to the power 2. Then we need to equate this one to 0, so 0 equals, so a range starts with the highest exponents, so this one is 3x squared minus 48x, then plus 144. Then since we can reduce this one, so divisible by 3, so this one divide by 3, this one is x squared minus this 48 divide by 3, that's 16x, then plus this 144 divided by 3, this one is 48, then equals 0. Then since this one is a quadratic equation, so we can use the quadratic factoring to solve for x. So we have the factors for x squared, that's x times x. Since the sign of the middle term is negative, so therefore, all negative. Then we find the factors of 48 that when we add, the sum is 16. So 48, the factors, so for 24 times 2, this one is 48. 16 times 3, that's 48. 12 times 4, that's 48. So when we add, this one is 26, this one is 18, this one is 16. So therefore, the factors of 48, that's 12 times 4. So this one is 12 and 4. Then we need to equate this one to 0. So x minus 12 equals 0 and the other one x minus 4 equals 0, so therefore x is equal to positive 12, and the other one 
x is equal to positive 4. Then since in the problem, the sum of two numbers is 12, so if x sub 1 is 12, so therefore, x sub 2 is equal to 0 because 12 plus 0, that's 12. Then the other one, x sub 1 is 4, so therefore, x sub 2, so 12 minus 4, that's 8. So these are the different two numbers. Then to find the maximum, so we need to find the product of these two numbers. So we have 12 times since 1 by the square to the other. So therefore this one is 0 squared. So the product is 0. And the other one for these two numbers. So we have 4 times then the square of the other. So we have 8 squared. So this one is 4 times 8 squared, that's 64, and 4 times 64, so we have 4 times 64 equals, that's 256. So therefore, this one is the minimum, and this one is the maximum, so we can say, that the maximum product of two numbers whose sum is 12 are 4 and 8.